Genetically, viruses have an evolutionary advantage over humans because they reproduce and mutate much more quickly. Some researchers believe that this advantage is insurmountable and our fight against viruses will never end in complete victory. But at Amherst College, Professor Paul Ewald, perhaps the world's leading expert on how infectious diseases evolve, believes otherwise. He thinks humans can exploit a virus's quick reproductive abilities and actually use them to tame it. We shouldn't be blind to the possible influence of our activities on the evolution of viruses, especially because that evolution is going at hyperspeed, essentially. These disease organisms can evolve substantial changes in periods of weeks. Ewald believes that we can control these changes simply by behaving differently when we are infected. For flu, his prescription is surprisingly simple. If you're sick, don't leave the house. If instead of having this kind of macho attitude, you're going to come to work even if you feel sick, we had a different attitude, which was, if you feel sick, stay at home. If we had that attitude instead of the macho attitude, then any disease organism that made us feel even the least bit sick would be taken out of the competition. Every autumn, several flu strains spread from person to person, from country to country, from continent to continent. But at some point during a flu outbreak, if the people who are feeling the worst, who are infected by the strongest strains, isolate themselves, the chain reaction stops. Strains that do us the most harm die off immediately. The flu that is left behind is harmless. You could say that it has been tamed or domesticated. One thing we've done with almost all the organisms that we've been living with is domesticate them. We've taken wolves, which were a threat to us, and altered their evolution to generate dogs. So the point is that we do this to almost all the organisms we live with, and we should be able to do it to disease organisms as well. It took thousands of years for man to tame wolves. But because flu viruses evolve so quickly, humans may be able to domesticate them in a matter of years. And if we can do that, then we can think of uh, changing disease organisms from those that cause us to be ill to disease organisms that are no longer causing disease. For Ewald, it's clear that evolutionary principles should be at the forefront of medical research. If he is right, by changing our behavior toward disease organisms even as deadly as malaria, Ebola, and HIV, we could free humanity of the ravages of these microscopic menaces. All we have to do is look at history to realize that evolution has been occurring um, throughout the 20th century in these disease organisms. It's very easy to see that disease organisms have been evolving in response to our activities. This is not just pie in the sky thinking. It's definitely uh, very real and it's based on the soundest of biological principles.